Hey, hello everyone and welcome to Nathan Hart Music. Please give this video a like and subscribe for more content on Soundtrap, Soundation, BandLab and other aspects of music making. Um, so today we're going to be looking at BandLab um, in this lesson. We're quite simply just going to set up an email um, account and start our own account and then ultimately start dragging audio files into projects on BandLab just to see how the kind of interface works. So this lesson is just setting up an account and ultimately getting started with the uh, software. So to access it, you need to go onto Google um, and type in BandLab or go straight to BandLab.com and you'll be greeted with a screen that looks like this that says the future music here today, etc. So the top right it says sign up if you click that and you will see that it says create an account. You can enter your name, use an email and then type in a password that's at least six characters. For me, I'm just going to quite simply uh, go with Google. At the bottom, you'll see it says Google, Facebook, Apple, etc. I'm just going to click Google. I'm going to uh, go in through my uh, Google Mail account. And there we go. I'm here at the screen. So as you'll see, um, it says Nathan Hart Music and it says at Engage 12. Now, just to clarify, um, I had an issue with my first recording, which means that you didn't see me completely set up my account. It will ask you to create a at name for yourself, similar to like what you get on Twitter. Um, just to set up your account. So mine was at Engage uh, 12. So with the right, it says here, make music on the go. So if you go onto Google uh, Play or the App Store, you can download the BandLab software and use it on there as well. One uh, thing to mention with that is I know that Soundtrap also does the same thing. So at the top, you'll see it says create. At the top right, we also get latest headlines um, on the screen here. Um, I'm sure most of you heard about the terrible tragedy that happened at the Travis uh, Scott concert. I believe it was in Texas. Uh, heart goes out to all of those involved. So if we go to the top right where it says Create Plus, it should bring us into our studio. And here we are. And it comes up with new track instruments, drum machine, sampler, bass guitar, voice and mic. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go on Band Lab Sounds at the bottom right for now. Because all we're going to look at today is mainly just kind of setting up our audio sounds. So band lab sounds, and you'll see that it comes up straight away with top genres, lo-fi, hip-hop, etc. We've got 90s jungle. We've got a lot of different stuff going on here. There is packs at the top right. Again, uh, these packs are all down here, which gives you some ideas. You've got Ibiza Groove, Sphingers, uh, Cart Volume 2, DJ Intrigue, etc. If you go on loops then you can see them straight up as loops there. And then there's also a nice little genre button. So if you wanted to go, do you know what? I kind of want to go for, uh, what should we go for today, guys? Do you know what? I'm going to go for lo-fi. I always like my lo-fi stuff. So <clears throat> one thing that they do that's kind of the same as Soundation and different to Soundtrap is you will see that on the instrument, it says what the instrument is, um, and then it says 94, which is our BPM, or 93, 91, 90 going down. Um, which is our BPM, and then you'll see as well that it says A minor, F major, A major, E major, and they're the keys that the music is in. Please remember, if you choose A minor, and then you drag an audio that is F major, it might not sound very good together, as they are in different keys, so it probably won't work. So, let's get started then. So if I select, uh, select Dusty Hip Hop Astral Filter, Very, very, uh, very vinyl sounding. What's the wah guitar like on him? Nice. So what we're going to start with? We're going to start with A minor ghost keys. That's what. We'll go with them. So if I drag them in, that means we're in 86 BPM. So it says set project key to uh, A minor. I'm going to say yes, please. Okay, and I'm going to click and I'm going to drag. And one thing that BandLab has done straight away here that some of the software does, uh, some other softwares do not, is it's changed it to 86 BPM. It's dragged it straight in and put it there. Uh, similar to Soundtrap and Soundation, you'll notice that uh, we've got our loop here. Um, so on the red box, all you have to do is click left um, on the end and you can shorten and make that longer. So here it is in the session. <laughs> Very nice. Right, so now I'm going to um, just change things up here. Find the instrument. This is really nice. I like this because instead of having to like, go through everything, we can just find it. So if I click on Beats, 
set school beat like it. But let's try and find. I don't. I think. So that's 120. Let's see what happens when we drag and drop this in. Does it automatically? Yes, it does. So it's automatically put it in time for us. You probably just saw how it stretched it. So let's hear that uh, together. He says, famous last words, this one is actually not quite in. It's a bit far over. See how it sounds. It might work anyway. <laughs> Yeah, that works. One thing I find strange is that that is there when uh, see what Okay, so we just time stretch it in, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a beat that is actually uh, closer to our BPM of 86. So we've got 96, 84. Let's have a look at the other one. I'm going to go for that one. So we drop that in. It's not as long, but it should fit in the gap, and it does. So if I just loop that, the top right, and there it should go. So at the top right, you'll see it's got the loop button. You click and hold. Um, there and it will let you click and drag. So again, that sounds nice to me. So I'm going to look for a bass. Nice. So bass. Uh, we want uh, A minor. So here we go. Just to hit B minor. Any more in A minor? This is the question. Yes, we do. I do. Uh, if you can't quite hear this, guys, put your headphones on. Sometimes your bass doesn't come through until you do a proper mix and stuff. So let's hear it. something like that so remember when you make these you want to try and build up your songs into sections you know your verse chorus etc so this would be the start of my song probably more like a verse <laughs> I'm going to be honest, I don't really like that, so let's get rid of it. Like I said uh, many times before in my videos, it's about exploring. And just seeing what kind of works and what does not work. And kind of going with that. I'm going to get rid of the uh, ghost keys, not feeling that. Interesting. I like all that stuff in this lo-fi stuff. Yeah, get some vinyl crackle in there. I mean, I'm going to do it that way. Probably because I've already got a track there. So let's put it in the bottom. Just going to get rid of that track. So then hopefully the vinyl crackle should give us what we are looking for. Here we go. Yeah, like it. <laughs> ok, 
Okay, guys, that's going to do for this lesson. Just to clarify, at the bottom it says Ban Lab Sands. If you click that, it brings it up. If you get rid, obviously it takes it away. Uh, so that is it for Ban Lab Lesson 1. Turn up an account, trying different ideas to see what you like. So if you please, uh, if you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe. We will be coming back with more lessons on Ban Lab. Uh, video links should come up above at the end of this video as well. Show you the Sandation and also Sand Trap uh, that we've looked at in previous videos. Thanks a lot, guys. Take care. Until next time.